We do have some snow on the way. It's not going to be a ton of snow, but I think with the ground being as cold as yeah. it is uh, and the recent cold air that we've had, I think it's going to stick pretty easily on the roadway. So we're going to have to watch out for some slippery roads. Uh, impact planner for the remainder of today heading into tonight. The cold wind chills at near zero. That's an improvement actually, but still quite cold. So if you're going to be outside again, you're going to want to make sure you're bundled up. Now we will see the snow continue to develop across the area. Light snow. It's not going to snow terribly hard at any period of time. But again, it should last for at least the next few hours heading into this evening. Now, visibility at times less than a mile if you're doing some traveling. And as I mentioned again, because of the recent cold air, the ground is really, really cold. It's going to stick to the pavement pretty easily as we head into this afternoon. This is a live look in Port Washington. Look real closely. You can see the snowflakes flying by. You can see already a little bit of snow on the ground there in Port Washington. 14 degrees, the current temperature, the wind chill still hovering around zero currently at one in Port Washington in, in Milwaukee, 11 degrees. The wind chill at minus three winds out of the west southwest at 10 miles per hour. And as we look across southeastern Wisconsin here, single digits still here to the northwest five in Beaver Dam, seven in Fond du Lac, still quite cold along the lakeshore up to 10 degrees now in Sheboygan. So your weather headlines afternoon light snow, more cold on the way. Our temperatures take a tumble again heading into the first part of the weekend. And then by Sunday, we're going to look at the potential for some lake effect snow. Always in question where that fetch is going to set up. But if we see that northeast wind just right on Sunday, we could have some lake effect snow. Here's our light snow now spreading across southeastern Wisconsin. This is looking really light here, folks. I think most locations are going to end up with less than an inch of snow. As we zoom in a little bit, you can see maybe some of these darker shades of blue up towards Port Washington, where we saw again the snow reaching the ground and more of the same extending back towards Oconomowoc. So as we go through our future forecast heading into the evening hours, area of light snow passing through I think the afternoon and evening commute. We still will have some snow around uh, during the evening commute. I think things are over with though by around 10 o'clock tonight. That area of low pressure exits. 9 a.m. tomorrow morning starting off dry, but here comes a second area of low pressure and this will clip our southern spots. Looks mainly from 94 south. The chance of snow again tomorrow afternoon. Then we dry out again on Saturday. How much snow this afternoon? Our computer models are indicating the potential for up to an inch of accumulation, maybe a little bit more in our western spots, but I think this might be a bit high. I think almost everybody going to be less than an inch of snow. Your forecast for today, the remainder of today, 14 degrees, light snow up to one inch for tonight. Low temperature down to six. That's an improvement. Chance of snow early, otherwise mostly cloudy. And here's your seven day forecast. Now as we head into the weekend, again, the chance of some snow south tomorrow on Friday, 15 for your high, eight degrees only on Saturday. You want some warm air? Head to Miami for the Orange Bowl. Orange Bowl forecast. Badgers taking on the Hurricanes, 70 degrees. That'd be nice in the evening. 12 degrees on Sunday for New Year's Eve. Again, the potential for some lake effect snow showers. New Year's Day we will look for a high temperature of only 12 starting off below zero 18 on Tuesday and another chance of light snow on Wednesday. We'll be right back.